10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay. My name is Natalie, and I'm going to show everyone how to use the light beam. So first, you have to have yourself a charged battery, and then hold down this button button so you can turn it on. It'll beep like that for a while, so then you turn on your controller. And once this is green, or not there anymore, that means it's connected. Just like that. Let me move this out of the way. So first to fly it, you have to press this button. It has a number eight on it. So. To go up, you move the left controller part up to go down is likewise the other way. To move the turn and look other way. That we want to keep moving. To move it around, you use the right thumbstick. To look back the other way, the right for the left thumbstick. To land it, it's the same thing as launching it. You bring it back to where it can land on something flat and then you press the button. Now that we were able to fly it, I'm going to show you how to connect it to your phone so you can see. First, you have to download an app called Lightbee and choose the option thank you, that looks exactly like this one. And then what you have to do next is connect to your Lightbee. It may be different depending on which one you have, but the Wi-Fi password for any of them is just one through eight. So right now I have to connect to mine. And now I can see what the light piece sees. So let me go out and go back on again and go to remote. It'll give you a little tutorial on what the buttons on the top mean and then it'll show you the camera of your light bee. So I can see wherever it's looking. Up, down, side, anywhere. Uh, you aren't able to use the remote as of right now from what I know. So you, can, you still use it here. But now, whenever I fly it, I can see everything on my phone. So if I wanted to fly it around the house, but I didn't want to move, I would rely on my phone to see where I'm going. So more for the other buttons, I have to have it flying to show you. This button is up and down for the recording. Likewise, for this one being up and down, one turns it around. So if I wanted to record everything around this room in one go, I would just press the number six and it would spin around and I could record it from my phone. Likewise with recording, I could also take photos. And the way to stop it is just press the button twice. want to disconnect it, it's as simple as just swiping out. And so you always have to have the remote that comes with the light bee in its casing or it will not work. You can't switch another controller to it. We've tried. It won't work. So now that we know what these do, you can turn them off and use them later. For my menu, what fell? If you want to read about it, it tells you the different things: your table of contents, how to assemble it, its specific weights and different um, measurements, and you just go through it. Gives you 
some more information. Still not sure if all of these things work. I'm still trying it out. But from what I know, it's able to record, take photos, and fly around for a good amount of time. Thank you.